Halloween night was always a quiet one for me. I'd never been one for crowds or costumes, but that evening something arrived on my doorstep that shattered my peace. It was a letter, a strange one, with my name on it in sprawling, ink-black letters. The envelope was heavy, a deep red, almost like it had been dipped in blood. No return address, no postage stamp, just my name and nothing more. I hesitated, feeling an uneasy chill, but curiosity won out, and I slipped a finger under the wax seal. The paper inside was old, yellowed at the edges, and felt strange under my fingertips. The handwriting was meticulous, beautiful even, but something about it made my skin crawl. The words seemed to almost dance across the page, like they were alive. Tonight, you must listen, it read. Leave your door unlocked at midnight and don't turn on the lights. I will come, and I will tell you things no one else can know. If you leave, you'll be safe. If you stay, you'll hear the truth. I felt my pulse quicken. I had no idea who could have sent this or why. My first instinct was to toss it out, but something in me, some dark curiosity, kept me from doing so. I left the letter on my kitchen table and tried to shake off the feeling that I was being watched. As midnight approached, my nerves were frayed. I'd tried everything to distract myself, books, music, anything. But every tick of the clock echoed louder, the words of the letter haunting me, leave your door unlocked. At 11.59, my hand hovered over the lock, my heart pounding in my chest. I was torn between logic and something more primal. Against my better judgment, I turned the lock and retreated to the corner of the room, every muscle tensed, waiting. The first thing I noticed was the silence. No hum of the refrigerator, no sound from the street outside. It was as if the world had fallen still, holding its breath with me. And then, softly at first, I heard it, a shuffling sound outside my door, slow and deliberate. I fought the urge to reach for a light, to call out, but my throat was dry, and terror had me frozen. The handle turned, creaking as the door swung open just enough for me to catch a glimpse, a figure shrouded in shadows, something almost human. It didn't speak, but I felt words slither into my mind. A voice, clear and chilling, cut through my thoughts. You stayed, it said. So, you must be ready to know. I couldn't respond, couldn't breathe as the figure drifted closer. Its face remained hidden, but I felt its gaze burn into me, peeling back layers of my mind, of memories I thought I'd forgotten. And then it whispered my name. I know you, it said. And with each word, my own forgotten secrets unraveled, things I'd never spoken of, sins I'd buried deep. As it spoke, I felt pieces of myself being pulled away, fragments of my life I hadn't known were broken. You should have left, it hissed. I wanted to scream, to bolt from the room, but I was paralyzed. It leaned close, its breath cold and heavy on my skin, and whispered things that no one else could possibly know. I don't remember much of what happened after that, only that when I came to, the clock read 3 a.m. and the door was shut tight. The letter lay crumpled on the floor, blank. I could have sworn I heard laughter echoing through the silence, faint and distant. I never saw the figure again, but every Halloween since, I find another letter on my doorstep. And though I've tried to ignore them, a part of me still listens for the voice in the shadows, waiting to hear the truth.